In the world of self-defense, there are several forms of martial arts, such as Hapkido, Jiu-Jitsu, and Taekwondo. Now, David Herbert is a master teacher in all three. And for those in search of peace and tranquility, Dave is also a master of Zen meditation. Welcome back to BK Live, Dave. Good, Good to see you. Hey, what's been going on? The usual. The usual, usual. Life stuff. as usual. You know what? We want to, uh, before we want to get into talk about martial arts and the various arts, too. What is also the purpose of martial arts? The purpose of martial arts can be divided into two segments. One is survival. When martial arts was taught in ancient times, it was to survive, to beat your enemy, to be stronger than your enemy. So that type of training also dealt with correct mindset, strengthening of your willpower, not just your body, but also your spirit, uh, military tactics, defensive tactics. But then the other side is to thrive. And to thrive means for good health, longevity, have peace of mind, uh, developing a fulfilling life. Yeah. Also, in terms of uh, mixed martial, uh, martial arts, in terms of teachers defense, teaches peace, it teaches also tranquility. What about Zen meditation? Let's get to that because, you know, as you know, Phil Jackson was also always called the Zen master this, the Zen master mm -hmm. that. But what does Zen meditation really mean? And what does it also, what is involved in it? Well, we're, we're, there's a saying in um, martial arts called Mu Shin. So Mu is martial and Mu Do is martial way, but Mu is also emptiness or nothingness. And Mu Shin means empty mind, nothing mind. So it, when you meditate, you, you strive to attain a place of peace where your mind can be empty and devoid of not just thoughts, but also emotions and things that pull you off center. So you, one can center oneself and with the connection with the divine realm, mm -hmm. with the Do, the Tao, or God. Also, let, let's talk about the various countries that also that have their forms of martial arts. I, I believe China is involved in Kung Fu to a degree, right? Also, you have J uh, Japan Judo. Yes. All right. Uh, in the Middle East mm -hmm. or Israel, you have Krav Manga. Brazil or South America, we have Capoeira or yes. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yes. What is the form of martial art that comes out of? Africa or any African countries? Well, actually, there are many martial arts. There are many uh, martial arts uh, wrestling systems, um, empty hand fighting systems, also weapon system. In fact, uh, Nelson Mandela was a martial arts master. Mm -hmm. um, in South Africa, there's a particular stick fighting system. That was his skill. And actually, he practiced with, uh, he practiced with the guards of, of the prison at the time. And from what I hear, even after this incarceration, when he was freed, some of the guards still practice with him, mm -hmm. right? But um, what people do know of today is Capoeira. Mm -hmm. Capoeira is actually African martial arts. And the arts. other one I forgot to is we're going to get into is, uh, North Korea, South Korea. But oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, we can yeah, say yeah. that later. Bro. So, so Capoeira is actually um, African martial arts, right? And and it's still practiced today in Africa, in Angola, mm -hmm. right? So when slaves were brought over from Africa, they had disguised it as dance, but it's actually martial arts. It's a martial arts fighting system. And there are many more. In fact, you could even find on, um, in Egypt, you could find in tombs, right? And on the side of temples, you could find multiple pictures. In fact, I've seen for myself. I've watched, I've, I was looking at this inscription on the temple walls. The hieroglyphics, I like, the hieroglyphics. Cause, yes, because mm -hmm. I, like, I like weaponry, mm -hmm. right? So I look at this, it's like a sword. And I saw another movement, and another movement. And, and then I realized something, as I followed it, I realized this was a form. A form was a set of movements, like a, like a musical piece. Right? except it's movements of martial arts. And I realized something, that the Egyptologists that were researching this didn't know martial arts, so they could not know what that was if they never practiced a form before. But even in Egypt, they had martial arts. Speaking, uh, we'll talk about what's happening on the world stage, especially, you know, the name of Korea. North Korea, South Korea is coming up. Yeah. North Korea teaches their version of Taekwondo. South Korea also has their version. Let's go over that. Yes. Um, originally, they both had the same version. And it was the uh, Chang Han version. Chang Han is a set of forms that was um, modeled after a lot of legend, not legendary, a lot of historical figures. For example, Tan Gun, the founder of Korea. Right? Um, Chung Mu, one who was, ex he was executed by the Japanese for fighting for Korean liberation. Um, the North Koreans retained these forms. 
uh, somehow South Korea has moved away from these forms. I'm not sure if that's because of political pressure, right? Because I do know that when the Western powers move into a country, they try to separate the country from their culture. Now, you're saying that the North Korea has much more of a deadlier form than South Korea? Uh, I believe so, mm -hmm. right? I mean, just by, just by attitude alone. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, deal with North Korea. North Koreans are not playing, right? Mm -hmm. The nickname is the, the Steel Tiger, mm -hmm. right? Think about it, the Steel Tiger. Um, the saying is that, you know, South Korea has gotten soft, right? And North Korea has gotten harder, mm -hmm. right? And when you look at some of the practicing of martial arts, you know, you can see that North Korea is definitely hard. This, this imagine comparing a boxing camp from Beverly Hills mm -hmm. to a boxing camp in Attica Prison. Mm put these guys together, right. it's going to be nine days. It's going to be, it's going to be a, a fist a, a fest. Few, a few weeks. <laughs> right, right. Nights. Okay? So that's the kind of how it, what it's like. Women's involvement. Let's talk about women. Mm -hmm. Women have a historical involvement in the world of martial arts. They have basically been denied out the picture. You uh, wouldn't even know females are kicking or hitting. Uh, you know. and, uh, and a lot absolutely. of these women have trained men to where they are now as far as become the masters, the teachers, the black belts, the dojos. Right? Let, let's go over that yes. also. I mean, look, Moi Wing Chung, uh, for one, we have the movies out, Yip Man, Yip Man 1, Yip Man 2, Yip Man 3, right? Big hits. He was but, Bruce Lee's teacher. Yes, right? Right, right. But, and Bruce Lee's teacher. Mm -hmm. What we don't have is, well, who was his teacher? Okay, who was Wing Chun? Who was, she was a Buddhist nun, but you don't hear about that. And, um, and unfortunately, the world of martial arts is, is plagued with that. Um, Very sexist in the world? Of course. Mm -hmm. well, we get, well, they have to look also, look at the history of where some of these martial arts come from, mm -hmm. because wherever it comes from, it's going to bring the culture with it. So if the culture has sexism, of course, there's going to be sexism in martial arts. If the culture has racism, it will be racism in the martial arts. If the culture has classism, there will be that in the martial arts. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to become also a master in your particular um, field, as far as the various versions of martial arts? Hapkido, uh, Taekwondo. You know, different martial arts are different, but also, it depends on how much work is someone willing to do. You can do your doctorate degree in four years, or you can do it in 10 years. It depends how much time you have, how much work you're willing to do, mm -hmm. of course. And also, your professors help immensely. Mm -hmm. So with martial arts, I would say, look, I can reduce a master in 12 years, um, hands down, uh, pretty much guaranteed. If I have them three or four times a week, and they're dedicated, right, they can be master in 12 years. Some other styles may say less, may say more. I don't know, but it depends also on what they're teaching. In our system, we have a huge curriculum, which includes meditation, weaponry, internal training, external training, self-defense. Uh, so it takes are, a little longer. Are there competitions against various schools also? Do you have that? Um, officially or unofficially? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there are official competitions, you know, different types of tournaments, and mm -hmm. sometimes we have friendly matches where uh, for example, one time we had Grandmaster Co. School, Grandmaster Choi School, and Grandmaster Paul School in our school. We had and and uh, Grandmaster Henry Gong School. We had a friendly competition because Grandmaster Choi wanted to show uh, the difference in Chinese martial arts versus Korean martial arts and Taekwondo versus Aikido. Mm -hmm. So we actually had a tournament, and it was friendly, mm -hmm. you know, and it was a nice tournament. Um, some of the tournaments are not that friendly. You recently received a citation right from the borough president, Eric Adams, who's also involved in Taekwondo to a degree. Him and um, Matthew Eugene, Councilman Matthew yeah, Eugene. Yeah, yeah. Councilman Eugene, I believe, is a, fifth, is a master in Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. Also, actually, he was, actually came to our school um, last Saturday. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. Um, you know, it was interesting. Both of them, um, the borough president in the morning, mm -hmm. and then Eugene in the mm -hmm. afternoon, evening, right? said the same thing, even though they were two different places, two different times. They said that martial arts made a huge difference in their lives and that the children of New York City need this type of training, that it would change everything. Have you ever been physically challenged to a fight? I mean, Dad. especially have folks come up in your school and say, you know what, I want to take you on, I want to prove myself. Um, yes, mm -hmm. some directly, some indirectly. Um, you know, look, we had the Godfather Chinatown pop up. But I think he was looking for Grandmaster Lin mm -hmm. because basically they were closing schools. If you're in their territory, you have to go through him. And but yeah, I think he came, he saw me. It didn't fit the pictures. The black guy was here. And mm -hmm. then so the Korean flags, right? So left us alone. 
Um, I had problems, you know, yeah, there's been some stuff. There's been the Chinese, there's been, there's been uh, should, I don't want to talk about it, but yes, there's been, been Italian challenged. groups, uh -huh. there's been Albanian <laughs> groups, right around the corner. Uh -huh. um, there's been there things like that. And, and people have come up, yes, with swords to fight, uh -huh. right? That was a mistake. I bet it was. Yeah, that, that was a mistake, yeah. As a black man, where yes. do you fit in the line of especially uh, the chronological history of martial arts? I mean, as far as I know, I remember Master Moses Powell in Harlem. Yeah. He was a part of, mm -hmm. I think, the Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. You also had uh, uh, the late uh, Jim Kelly. Yep. Uh, we also had the late uh, Staten Island. Billy Davis. Billy Davis. Late Billy Davis. He yeah. passed, right? And uh, yeah. where do you fit in that order? Are, are you world renowned? You must. Well, I know you are world renowned, especially well, in terms of what you what you do. Number one, I have to give huge reverence and respect to all these great and phenomenal heroes that came before me, right? Because I basically am lucky to to barely stand on their shoulders. Um, I see myself as the this, this small here newcomer, and I see them as the giants. Because mm -hmm. there are people, for example, like Sokka John Davis, right, who is, as far as I'm concerned, if I'm a level, if he's level 100, I'm a level one, mm -hmm. okay? Professor Bill McLeod in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. who, by the way, we had the event for him that this weekend at his school, he's 73, right? Um, he calls me his younger brother, mm -hmm. even though he's a little older than me. But um, this, this man's a giant. He's, he's a giant in the martial arts, and people don't know about him, mm -hmm. right? And there's so many of them, you know? So I can't even, you know, give myself any credit compared to these guys, because these guys were the heroes that I came up with, right, and looking up to, you know? A lot of them are still here, you know? And they're like my family. So where do I stand? Um, one day I'll be up there. Right. right now, I have to be humble. <laughs> Them, yes. You are into the continuum yes, of that. Yes. You know what, Dave? Thanks for coming on, man. Cool, Pleasure, Mike. right?